imagine waiting 68 years to win a trophy then seeing the chance to do so vanish in the space of just six minutes? That was the fate of Newcastle United at Wembley as Manchester United won the Carabao Cup to give Eric Ten Hag his first silverware only nine months after taking charge. A first half strike from brilliant Brazilian Casemiro along with an own goal from Sven Botman left Newcastle crushed in what was their biggest game in a generation. Supporters will hope there are more days like this to come. But then again so will those who follow United, after the fallen Giants took a big step on their journey back to the top of English football under Ten Hag's sensational leadership. This had felt like such a seismic match for both clubs. So important to United, in fact, that co-owner Avram Glazer took the trouble to jet over from his Floridian mansion to see if his club could win their first silverware since 2017. And for Newcastle the wait to have something to polish had been much, much longer. The last time Newcastle won something, the FA Cup back in 1955 Rocky Marciano was heavyweight champion of the world, Winston Churchill was being replaced as Prime Minister and a bottle of brown ale cost just over a shilling. Little wonder then that it felt like the entire population of Newcastle had made the long trip south to a stadium that hadn't even been built the last time the team made it to Wembley. And most eyes were focused on Loris Karius in the Newcastle goal. Due to bizarre circumstances, Karius was making his Newcastle debut after joining them in September and playing his first game at all in 24 months. Karius is best remembered for an error-strewn performance in the 2018 Champions League final for Liverpool, when he was at fault for two of Real Madrid's goals in their 3-1 triumph. Ten Hag, who had preferred Antony ahead of Jadon Sancho, urged United to target the German. And Karius almost got in a pickle with Dan Byrne inside the opening 20 seconds, before shanking an attempted clearance towards the touchline. He did save shot on 13 minutes to boost his confidence, but it was from Woot Weghorst to be fair, so it was nothing to be proud of. Weghorst just failed to reach a cross from Dalit and Antony fired straight at Karius as United looked to get the upper hand. And the breakthrough came on 33 minutes when Casemiro met Luke Shaw's free kick to head past Karius to make it 1-0. His fifth goal of the season was a belated birthday present to himself, having turned 31 on Friday. Things went from bad to worse for Eddie Howe's men five minutes later when Rashford broke into space and saw his strike hit Botman, before looping up and over Karius to double United's lead. Newcastle had a mountain to climb but saw Dan Byrne waste a golden chance to pull one back when he missed the target with a simple header. Karius was the busier keeper, though and produced a flying save to keep out Weghorst's effort before saving again from the Dutchman while Fred shot wide. Karius also denied Rashford as Newcastle battled hard to salvage some pride. Which is all they took back to the North East, while United keep their quadruple dream alive. 